Hi Cuga students, welcome to our single sign-on training video. This video is for students who are considered SSO. So this video guide is for you if you have never logged into My Cayuga before, but you have registered for classes. So that is very important. If you have never logged into My Cayuga but have registered for classes, this is the video that you want to watch. Okay, so what is single sign-on? It's basically an authentication process for you as a student in which you only have to worry about one username and one password to get into all of our systems here at Cayuga. So single sign-on will give you easy access to My Cayuga, which is the student portal that you'll be using, Blackboard, which is our online learning website. So if you're taking an online course, you'll be using Blackboard, student email, you can check your email via your phone or our website. And you can also use your single sign-on username and password to access any computer here on campus. Now, a couple things to keep in mind. You have received a letter with instructions on how to log into My Cayuga, and that included a temporary password that you'll use. So when you log into My Cayuga for the very first time, you don't know your username. So what you do is you log in for the first time using your social security number and then this temporary password that's provided in the letter. But afterwards, you're going to find out what your username is, and you're going to use that to log into My Cayuga. Okay, so there are basically three steps to single sign-on. First, we're going to find your Cayuga username for you. Second, you're going to have to set up three security questions. And then third, we're going to have you reset that temporary password with one of your own. Okay, if you're ready, we're going to show you how to log into My Cayuga for the very first time. And this video is only if you have registered for classes. If you've never logged into My Cayuga before but have not registered for classes, there is another video that you need to check out. A new student will go to the My Cayuga homepage and click the Login to My Cayuga button. At the login screen, a first-time student will need to enter in their social security number and the temporary password that was given to them. Once a new student logs in, they'll see that their password has expired. Now, in order to use the single sign-on manager to change their password, they need to use their valid username. This first step will walk them through the process of finding out what their username is. They have to first start by entering in their social security number again in the text box and then click the submit button. Next, to validate we know who they are, they need to verify what their birth date is. Enter in the birth date in the text box and then click the submit button to continue. After verification, they'll be presented with their Kiyuga username. This is important for them to remember because this is what they'll use to sign into My Kiyuga from now on. When they're done, they're going to continue on to the single sign-on manager by clicking the link provided. At the SSO manager screen, they will need to set up their security questions and answers. Click the link provided in step two. They may be prompted to re-enter in their Kiyuga username and temporary password in a dialog box. On the next screen, they should read the text, and when they're ready, click the Next button to continue. For security reasons, the student will need to re-enter their temporary password. Click Next to continue. At the Setup Security Questions screen, here is where they need to set up their security questions and answers. They will be presented with three questions and they each have to have an answer. Have the student remember these answers, they will be asked these questions in a later step. For this example here, I'm just going to enter in my security questions and answers. Click the next button to continue. On the next screen you'll see completed, you are now registered with the single sign-on manager. Your next step will go back to the home page and will reset your password. Click the link provided. Returning to the SSO manager screen, you can see that we've done the first two steps. We've provided the username, 
We've set up the security questions, and now we're going to reset the password. The student must enter in their username, this is the one they just found out, and then click the Next button to continue. They will then be asked to verify their three security questions that they just set up. Click the Next button to continue after answering the three questions. At the password reset screen, the student can now enter in a new password. This is going to be their permanent password, replacing the temporary one. They choose the new password and enter it twice to verify, and then click the next button to continue. The student will now see a success screen and they should click on the provided link to take them directly to My Kiyuga to log in. If they've done all three things correctly, they've figured out their username, they've set up their security questions, and they've reset their password, now they can log in to My Kiyuga. They would log into My Kiyuga using their username and their new password. Click the login button to continue. Once they've logged into My Kiyuga, they'll see a welcome message with their name, and probably the first thing they should do is click the Personal Information button. Scroll down until they see My Credentials and click the My Credentials button. Under the Display My Credentials page, they'll be able to see their C number, their username, and their email address. These three things are important, especially the email address, and of course the username is what they'll use to log into MyKiyuga.